Hello guys and welcome to a video by me Bullet of Bullets. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to actually control your iPod on your computer. Now I know a lot of you might have heard about this before however I'm going to make a video on this anyway how to actually show you how to do it as if you've never heard of it before even better and if you have I'm going to be showing you how to actually do it. Now as you can see this is my iPod I have jailbroken in it and yours will look different than this because I have a different theme on. As you can see, all I need to do is simply scroll across, and this is actually moving my real iPod touch, and I can actually see, as well as, I can just control it straight from my iPod. Now, a couple of things you do have to do on your iPod. You need to have a jailbroken iPod. If, you, if yours isn't jailbroken, you won't be able to have Cydia, and therefore you won't be able to have some of the things on your iPod, like what you need. Therefore, you do need a jailbroken iPod. If you don't, you might as well just click straight off this video right now. Um and then you also need Wi-Fi because this runs through Wi-Fi which is why it's a little bit laggy but you do also need Wi-Fi so I'm going to be showing you how to do this on the computer and on the iPod so first of all you want to go download something called Real VNC and install that, it's from this website, it's a simple normal download so just go and download that, link in description to do this, this is the site here once you then have that you want to go onto Cydia which is obviously again the jailbroken thing and as you can see I'm actually controlling this from my computer a little laggy as I said beforehand but it's going to be like that so Cydia is going to take a minute to go into I'm going to pause the video and come back once Cydia is up okay now this is loaded you need to go into search of this part and search for Vency which is V E E N C Y now this should be in a normal uh, in a normal pack that you have installed already I can't think what they're actually called um, but it, the uh, the place to find it is already installed on the iPod's jailbroke. All you need to go into simply here it will say install and then you confirm it but I've already got it already and then you're done you need to again go to the home page that's will finally do that, there you go you need to then go to the home page and then go into settings once you're in settings once this loads, you are going to scroll down and you'll see a new thing in here called Vency, not music. Called Vency. And then you just need to enable that and then you can add a password if you need to. If you don't want to add a password, every time you want to join, it will simply ask your iPod first. It will say accept, reject, simple as that. Now I'm actually going to quit out of my iPod so I can actually show you how to then connect. So you've done everything you can on your iPod now. Now what you just want to do on your computer now you want to actually download and install this very simple nothing from the ordinary and then run it now what you want to then do then I'm actually blanking this out at the moment you can't see this because obviously it's my IP address you want to actually add in your IP address now I'm gonna connect back to it again so I can show you how to do that just in case you don't know not saying you would or wouldn't I'm just saying just in case I don't know why I quit out of that because I needed that but you want to go into your settings and then you want to click on your Wi-Fi again you do need Wi-Fi for this as I already said and as you can see I'm connected to my internet which is Sky61259 you want to click on the blue little arrow next to that and then right here it will say IP address and it will say your IP address where I just showed you you want to type your IP address in so go into it here type in your IP address and then click OK you'll then get something come up on your iPod which I can't actually show you and it says remote access request and it will request to uh, go on to connect to your computer or not if you click yes you will then be able to actually see your iPod on your computer which you're then about to control that is simply it is that easy again all the links in the description to download well not all there's one um, and I will also include all the names of the applications you need to download on your iPod which is called Vency and again that's it so that's it really. If you've done my videos, please comment and subscribe. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.